Um, all right, so we get to the main event, and this one's gonna pain me really bad because I am a massive Derek Lewis fan. I love Derek Lewis. I mean, how do you not love the mic, the talking after the fights? Like, I love it, and I, and I love like I love that he was losing and getting his ass kicked to Volkov, and then gets the knockout. Like that's stuff that I just I love Derek Lewis, but this is his kryptonite. Anybody that can wrestle is his kryptonite um it's you know he's just he's so many times we've heard we've heard him say i've been wrestling i've been working on my wrestling and he comes out he gasses out like after two rounds i'll give him two rounds um and you know he he's this is going to be that one where it's going to be a one it's got to be a one punch knockout for him or he's going to lose and if if uh, Blades can can eat a shot, which he's, I think he's only really been knocked out by Francis. I don't really know that Blades Twice. has been knocked out, yeah, too many times, and everyone gets knocked out by Francis. So, um, why once. is he why one? Oh, only once. He only got Doctor Stoppage in the first fight. Oh, there you go. I um, yes, that is yeah, yeah. Do, do, yeah. So, um, <sighs> I think that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go Blades. I, I want to say decision, but with it being five rounds, like Derek Lewis, if he, that's a long five rounds. Like I think at some point he's just going to be laying there and blades is going to end up ground and pound and getting the TKO. He's not really a sub guy too often. Um, but yeah, I'm going to actually go. I've I picked all finishes. I think on this card. You did. Um, yeah, that's tough. I'm still going to go blades. I think I'm going to go TKO though. I just have a really hard time seeing Derek Lewis being able to withstand five rounds of being taken down and battered. Like that's a long, long time. Uh, if it was a three round fight, I think I'd go decision, but five rounds is a lot. So yeah, I mean, it pains me. I love that. I normally don't pick against my guys, but I can't, there's just no way I see Derek Lewis winning this fight. Unless again, he was to land some, you know, ridiculous shot, like a Volkov situation. Yeah. I think that's, like this is like the most clear cut fight you're gonna see. Like Derek Lewis just straight up struggles against someone who can hold him on the ground, and there's no one else better in this division at wrestling probably than Curtis Blades. The dude's an absolute machine. He had 14 takedowns against Volkov. When you look at his number of takedowns in his last five, he goes 14, five, seven, four, ten. Like the guy just takes you down, holds you down. His ground and pound is really good. Derek Lewis has like a 0.1% chance of outpointing blades. That's never going to happen. It has to be that, like you said, that one shot knockout power. But like he is the guy that can do that. He has probably the most power in the UFC outside of Francis Ngannou. He can take you out in one shot at any point throughout the fight. I thought it is worth noting that, yes, Derek Lewis is an absolute knockout machine, but three of his last five wins have been by decision. And we've kind of seen him like, I'm not going to say he turned a corner, but he has played it a little bit smarter in some of his fights. I think one of them was against Blagoy Ivanov. Uh, that was Which a tough he, fight. He for could him. have lost that fight. That, that was, was a split very, decision, very I think. Yeah. Fight, yeah. But he fought it smarter than he usually does. And that's still, that's not going to work against Curtis Blades. I'm taking Curtis Blades, TKO. I, I Like you said, it's not going to. He's just going to get so tired after the first two rounds of being not, like taken down again and again. I don't even think he's going to get back up. Like if he gets held down in a round, he's probably not going to get back up. And just the ground and pound that Blades has, like he's looking to make a statement in this because the heavyweight division's all messed up now. John Jones is already getting the next title shot, so Blades is probably going to be pissed off. He's going to go in there just throwing elbows, throwing ground and pound. He's going to kill Derek Lewis. <laughs> That's your Jesus. pick. Kill. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Blades by just murder. Yeah, murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to agree. You look at all the all the ways that one can win a fight. Curtis has, he could stop him on the feet. He could stop him on the ground. He could submit him. He could win by points. Derek has one way he could win a fight. By that, you'd have to use logic a little bit. Um, other than Derek faking an injury like he did against JDS and then kind of <laughs> sucking him in and then frying a hammer. It's, yeah, it's got to be Curtis, hasn't it? I can see it kind of going the same way the Overeem fight went from a guard perspective, just elbows down. And and I've never seen Derek TKO properly. So I can't, I, I, I want to say it's decision, but because you said it is five rounds, Zach, you got to say it's got to stop somewhere. Can Derek go five, 25 minutes for the Black Beast? 
probably not. So I'm going to no. say third third round stoppage, probably TKO. I don't see I him mean, subbing, subbing him. I think that's going to be the problem is that it's not that Derek Lewis isn't a tough guy that he can't take the shots, but I think at some point he's going to be on the ground taking so many shots that the, the ref yeah. is just going to have to stop the fight. I think, yeah, that's I don't think he'll be long. knocked out at all. I just think, yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, he's not got no answer. The ref saving him. Nothing. More. Yeah. Not if, not if Herb Dean's in there, he'll no, Jesus keep, Christ, keep punching him. Yeah, no. keep, yeah. I'll, tu- I'll, I'll touch you guys as well. And then I'll yeah. say, let me I'll get t- right into the range and make everyone really nervous. And then, uh, Make I, it I said it when no Usman one. was fighting Burns and Herb was coming up in the face. I just went, oh, no. <laughs> not again, Herb. Please, how <laughs> are you not again. learning? I, like, Keith Peterson looks like a drug dealer. And you've got Jason Herzog, who looks professional. Mark Smith, professional. Mark Goddard, professional. Yeah. But then you've got these random... Chris Tognoni looks a bit odd. He's got some weird shaped <laughs> head with a well, He's dis- And he's so and he's, he's got, so out of shape, he can't get out of the <laughs> way. <laughs> Tayoni can't... He got ran into the, the other oh, day. yeah, the, someone, I think someone hit him. did. Was it the yeah. Yul Gutierrez fight? I think it was. Yul's trying to run away, but he couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's there needs to be a standard, it. man. Herb Dean sucks. He's so bad. <laughs> he's getting, he's yeah, getting they worse. Can't, he? He, he can't do this main event. It, this is the, the wrong fight for that because we know where it's going to go. You're, he's going to have to make a call. Yeah. Get the no nonsense Keith Peterson or Mark Smith in or someone yeah. like that. But um, yeah, Curtis, round three TK. Yeah, I mean, just look at just use the DC versus Blake um, versus Lewis fight as like kind of like a easy kind of like yeah. I mean, it's going to be the same thing. I mean, and and let's just take a second too before Kerry makes his pick. I feel like Steve, you kind of scoffed at the fact that Blades had five takedowns in a fight. Like that's just how crazy his numbers are. Like five takedowns in one fight is still a shit ton of takedowns. But you look at his resume, and then you got the seven, the fourteen, the what? Like that's just absurd that we're sitting here scoffing at the fact that he had five takedowns in a fight, which is like a, an average, like above average amount of takedowns. Like it's just his, absolutely insane. His takedown average, I believe, is not oh seven, seven per fifteen <sighs> minutes. That's wow. insane. Yeah. Right. My turn. Yeah. All right, so I, I was going to go with Curtis Scissorhands Blades, uh, but Steve's kind of forced my hand here. I did. Derek Lewis, you never knew us, but please woo us and get that knockout. I'm going Lewis knockout, all because Steve forced me to. He's yes, my favorite picture. Uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs>